Hi, this is Andrew Terranova, and we're going to show you a cool circuit William and I are working on. Uh, it's Hi. a uh, <laughs> it's an LED chaser. So uh, let's come on over here. This, this is our uh, LED chaser circuit. It's got ten LEDs with five different colors of LEDs in pairs, and uh, they'll be rearranged uh, when we in the finished uh, product, so it doesn't the same colors are sort of spread across the board, but uh, and sequenced differently. But um, it uses a hex inverter and a um, a uh, decade counter to uh, drive the LEDs one at a time with a simple uh, little feedback loop. And um, we also added to the circuit a a little um, potentiometer so we can change the speed so, so we can get we can get to a we can get to quite a frenetic pace there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to in the final model we're going to put it on this, uh, solder it onto this circular breadboard from Radio Shack. So we're going to mount it in this globe and hopefully it'll be a very nice little finished piece with a, a switch on one side and a potentiometer to control the speed on the back. All right. Okay, here at long last is the spinning LED thingy. It's in a nice wooden base rescued from a snow globe. And this plastic dome, I don't know where we got it from, but it's cracked and old and has lots of um, character. And there's a simple little uh, circuit inside to make the LEDs go. On switch on the back, and a potentiometer to adjust the rate. Let's give it a try. I'm going to kill the light so you can get the effect. Let's see. Power on. It's kind of cool. I like how the uh, LEDs reflect around and refract around in the kind of scratched up glass or plastic. And then I can adjust the rate. That was the minimum you were looking at before. A little faster, a little faster. And this is full speed. That's the small that's the slowest speed. And that's it. And William help me. Say hi William. Yay, we wouldn't have built it without William wanting to do this, right? Thanks, bye-bye.